three reasons to go visit the Rockefeller Center in New York City. Hey everybody, it's Tom here from The Company Code, author, educator and public speaker. Today I'm going to talk about why you should be visiting the Rockefeller Center in New York City. Rockefeller Center is a group of buildings that is very well known throughout the world. There are many, many different things to see and do. And I have had the pleasure of going there back in 2008 when me and my family visited New York City. You will know the Rockefeller Center from some of the films that he's been in, but I'll elaborate on that later. So now, surely the first reason for visiting. Well, quite simply, you're in an absolutely huge high rise building. What better than the skyline and the view that you are going to see? from that building. You go into the main building there and you go in the elevator, you go up really, really high. When I'm saying high, I mean ridiculously high. You get to the top there and I have to be honest, while I've not got vertigo, and I wouldn't particularly say I'm afraid of heights, you do get a little bit unnerved by the how high up you are. And I'm thinking about it now, I'm feeling a little bit, whoa. I wouldn't go right to the top of the rock, as it's called. My brother did. I couldn't quite go that high. Uh, I think you do start, it does start to play in your mind as to just how high up you are. And my best advice to anyone who's going up there is to just look out. Whatever you do, do not look down. <laughs> that's, that's purely it. But the views are absolutely stunning. On a clear day, you can see for miles, and you realise how high up you are when there's helicopters flying past. <laughs> Second reason, well, quite frankly, there's hundreds of retail stores and shops, all at affordable prices. Although you have to understand New York is a city and cities are not cheap. They just never have been as a rule of thumb. But you've got a range of different stores there that, you know, anyone with any particular budget can go in. And I must say, if you're in New York City, like any other city, whether it be London or wherever the hell you want to go, you do get your tacky gifts and those sort of souvenirs. But if you shop around, you can pick up some decent buys for a reasonable price, you know, you're not going to be paying stupid amounts of money, which is always good, because obviously, as I said, like to go to any city or anywhere like that, it's always, it's not really a cheap holiday. You know, when I was in New York, I was only there for three days, and I would say three or four days is probably the maximum you should be visiting anyway, really, for a place like that. My personal opinion here, if you wanted to spend a week there, that is entirely up to you. But quite frankly, I think three or four days is probably about enough, really, for a place like New York City. But yeah, you've got a real huge array and selection of different shops to visit around, in and around the Rockefeller Centre. I would say, get in there, have a hunt around. You may find yourself a bargain or something to buy. And... You know, there's a lot going on around the place, which I will come to in the third reason, you know, and you won't be short of stuff to see and do, even if you're not really a shopper. But definitely your retail stores is worth a look because there's a really good selection. Third and final reason, well, quite frankly, as I've just alluded to, there's many, many things going on. The Rockefeller Centre is where at Christmas time you have the ice skaters. On the large ice rink outside of where you've got all the high-rise buildings that's the rockefeller center i have a huge christmas tree there usually and this was out of the film home alone where the lead character kevin when he's lost in new york in home alone 2 goes and stands under the christmas tree and then his mother puts two and two together and says well where would kevin be he would be under his christmas tree and she knew straight away where he was and sure enough that's where he was at that time of year, they really encapsulate the season and the ice rink is there for months afterwards. And it's a sight to behold, you know, it's a huge area that people 
um, I skate in and shop in and visit. Rockefeller Center is a really big attraction within New York. I personally think that you should, if you are in New York, have a look and visit. 100% you should. It's definitely worth, definitely worth a visit. I really liked it over that way and I particularly enjoyed my time. Even though I was a bit, like, nerve-wracked when I went on top of the building. But that could happen to anybody, really. I suppose you just get it into your head that uh, huh, I'm hundreds of feet off the ground. <laughs> anyway, those are my three reasons for going to visit the Rockefeller Centre in New York City. This is my second video of the week and I want to say thank you all very much for listening. Your support and attention on my channel is much appreciated. Thank you kindly. This is the second of three videos that will be out this week. The third and final will be out towards the end of the week. Put down in the comment section below. What do you know of the Rockefeller Centre? Is it somewhere that looks on your bucket list? Is it somewhere you've heard of before? Do you want to know more about it? Put down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer some questions. Remember, remember as well, please, to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a thumbs up and a like. And let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know when my next content is out. Until then, everybody, I want to say thank you all very, very much as always for listening. I appreciate your time and your support. Back at the end of the week with my third and final video of this week. Until then... Take care of yourselves and bye for now.